My name is Valerie Branch. I am a dance educator, arts administrator, and also a performing artist. We had the opportunity to work with new artists that were training to become wolf trap teaching artists. And what I really loved about that experience is that educators in early childhood in Singapore are excited and ready for arts integration in the classroom. And with new artists, working with them they have also been really excited to embrace this model and to think about how they're breaking down their art form to work with early childhood educators and with students. I'm Christina Farrell. I'm a master teaching artist with the Wolf Trap Institute for Early Learning Through the Arts. The goal of the New Artist Training Week is to equip the new artists with skills in early childhood and really understanding what's developmentally appropriate for young children helping them really look deeply at their art forms so that they understand how to apply it in that early childhood setting and giving them some skills around coaching and mentoring their classroom partner teacher. So I'm Jeremy Chan and I am a lawyer by profession. So after this week, I can proudly call myself a teaching artist with the Wolf Trap Institute. So I have a 10-month-old at home and I find that art and movement and aesthetics really appeal to his learning and his growth. And what I find really, really special about the Wolf Trap approach is the integration with the art form. Art isn't just seen as an enrichment or something to add on like um, whipped cream on a Sunday. It's really the main meal. I'm Julie Wee and I'm an actress and voiceover artist and a newly trained wolf trap teaching artist. We spent a whole week really delving into how to be a teaching artist within a school in collaboration with a teacher. We've learned how to work with the students in order to equip teachers with our art form, with the curriculum. First, I love that it's parent and child workshop because uh, those aren't really common to come by. So it's really nice to spend that time with her on a weekend. And I asked her about this in the break. And uh, one of the things she mentioned was what um, we did in the first workshop, which was a story uh, sentence, a movement sentence. And it was really nice because it was a very different way of thinking about movement. I guess the whole experience that I really enjoyed because it's very intentional like the stories, it is very catchy to the children. And then I, I, I like it because, especially the storytelling, that it's not just using storybook and tell it out of, out of the storybook, but yet we use a lot of movements, like music and, and simple ones, yeah. Hi, I'm Teacher Key. I'm very honoured to be collaborating with the Wolf Track. There are so much more fun and engaging way to interact with children and make their lesson much more enjoyable and fun and meaningful for the children. I think the Wolf Track program is very useful for the children. It provides a lot of opportunities for the children to express their thoughts, their opinions through different ways, like just expressing themselves creatively. I'm Charlotte, I'm the Managing Director of Singapore Room Tour Theatre and we are obviously one of the leading theatre companies in the region and it's all about storytelling. We tell stories on stage um, and we think we can play a much bigger role as a partner with schools to try and contribute with theatre, music and dance to, be, to help raise more children, be more a wholesome education. My name is Paul Adams. I'm the Learning and Engagement Manager at Singapore Repertory Theatre, but I'm also the Affiliate Director for Singapore Wolf Trap. And I mean, play is just the most important thing, right? We're bringing together educators, we're bringing together artists, working with children to do what is probably the most important thing, which is to work that imagination muscle, get creative, get playing, and bringing those two wonderful things together so we can all flourish. Hi, I'm Geraldine. I'm an early childhood educator. 
And I think Permission to Play gives adults the opportunity to revisit why it's important to play and model it for young children because that's the way they learn. I'm Su Fan, uh, founder of Preschool Market. Play is the highest form of learning. So we actually want to embrace this form of learning for educators and parents. I'm Z, I'm a curriculum specialist for a preschool and I think play is important so that we could broaden our imagination and have fun. Hi, my name is Jason and I'm a management associate together with NTC First Campus. I feel that play is important not just for children but for teenagers and adults as well. And as a preschool educator, when I observe how children play, it allows me to see how they interact and engage not only with their peers but also with their environment. And of course, for preschool educators, it's very important because this will allow me to plan for activities uh, that will help to track their developmental milestones and of course, do activities that are appropriate for their age. I'm Alison Bassey. I am the Cultural Affairs Officer at the U.S. Embassy here in Singapore. The U.S. Embassy in Singapore is proud to support this collaboration between Singapore Repertory Theatre and the Wolf Trap Institute of Early Learning Through the Arts in the United States. I think arts is incredibly valuable in who we become as people. The arts have played a huge role in my life. As a child, I did all kinds of theater classes. Uh, in college, I studied film uh, and dance. So I've really been a little bit all over the place with the arts, but I think it's made me a more interesting person. And I think that that is true for all of us.